All right, you guys, we had another historical site right here in Miramar, Florida, Broward County area, not too far from Snake Warrior Island. I'm gonna go there as well, but I probably might not go there today, but I'm here to document, finally. I wanna share some information with you guys. Also, there was part of the, um, the Seminole Wars that took place here. So let's begin the trail, and it's gonna be a short video, so I'm gonna make it short as possible. So remember, the place is called Miramar Pineland Nature Area, right here in Broward County. So let's start. All right, 13 miles. All right, guys, remember we are in Miramar, Florida. This is Pineland Park, right here in Broward County. Like I said before, there is a nature trail. The nature trail is not too big as well, but then there's something way more important than this nature trail itself. There used to be a reservation during the Seminole Wars, I believe during Andrew Jackson's term, the Seminoles that was here, they were forcefully removed from this territory. And not to mention, it's another historical site, Snake Warrior Island, not too far from here. But I believe before they started building, we you, you was able to probably connect to that park, not too far. I think it's the park is like 10 minutes away as well, but I'm gonna document that as well. So you guys, when you guys get a chance, um, look up Snake Warrior Island. But this trail is 115 acres long. This site originally was created by the Florida Seminoles as well. I'm not gonna document the whole trail. There's no reason for me to do that. But I just wanted to share this particular trail that will lead you to the reservation. So I'm gonna just keep walking as well. You got a lot of historical sites here in Florida. And this place is beautiful. You got a lot of historical sites here in Florida, like Arch Creek, um, that's in North Miami. You got Great Knoll Park, that's North Miami. That's a connection to Arch Creek as well during the Seminole Wars. Um, there's rumors that um, Osceola and John Horse used to meet up at uh, Arch Creek in North Miami and also Arch Creek after the government purchased Arch Creek territory it was a limestone bridge that had collapsed after the purchase now that is very interesting so when you guys get a chance look up Arch Creek right down North Miami Beach you can look up the Miami Circle as well so let me get back to this particular territory piling nature trail right here in miramar there's not too much information out here but they found pottery bones like stuff that was used for ceremony purposes like everywhere you go at like these historical sites are used for ceremony purposes as well These are animals that you could probably see or discover out here while you're on the nature trail. They got the red hawk, the turtle, the turquoise turtle, spiders, snakes. But let's go to the other historical um, marker so you guys can see what took place out here as well. So let's go. All right, let me get a little closer so you guys can see that what it used to look like as well. So the Tequesta Indians had inhabited this area as well. Like I said before, the Tequesta Indians are nothing but the Mayans. You got to pay attention to the designs. The Mayans use seashells, put it two and two together. The Tequesta use seashells, same designs. Those are really the Mayans, you guys, if you pay attention to it. Like the Mayans never disappeared. The Mayans still here in Florida but they just going under different names as we know it. Well, the government terms that they use for the original people, the Aboriginal people, Aborigine, whatever you want to call it. But this right here, the Seminoles arrived in this territory during the 1800s to avoid removal from their other Seminole reservations by the US government as well. So as you can see, 
they had clans that traveled here. You had a snake clan. I believe the snake clan was mostly uh, females, women. That was medicine women as well. That was protected. And they were also, um, what would you call it? Um, there was also um, mm, psychics amongst the tribes by the women who need to be protected. <clears throat> so the Tequesta did explore these territories as well, you guys. Like, they the same group of people. Calusa, Tequesta, like you got the Miami Circle where the Tequesta King used to live. They found pottery, they found holes in the ground. Some believe a UFO had landed and they turned that particular territory into like a ceremonial burial ground as well. It's a lot of energy still at the Miami Circle still to this day as well. So you guys should take out the Miami Circle as well. But the clans travel here to um, to avoid the US government. But as we know it, the US government found where the Seminoles was hiding and forcefully removed them as well at this particular territory. So this is a cultural history monument right here, you guys. I'm at a historical site like this place is very important to me. All these sites I go to is very important. So I try to document and take advantage of these sites so I can share these this information with you guys for the most part. But they use this um, particular area to avoid enslavement as well. But some believe the Tequesta fled to Cuba, but a lot of Tequesta clans, they stay here and remain here in Florida as well. So let's begin the trail about the rain. So I'm gonna try to document as much as possible as well. So this trail is not that big at all, you guys. This used to be a, a ATV. They used to use this park as an ATV and dirt bike trail as well. But they had stopped it because they found out this place was historical. So they turned it to a park as well. Also dirt bikes used to come out here. But also Snake Creek Warrior Island, you guys, is connected to this park. But this will be a but that would be another video. So we walk on we walking up a um a shelter here that the park is used for when it rains, I'm going to try to uh, probably get under the shelter because I don't want to get wet. I'm going to try to hurry up and document this park as well. But I'm not, you know what, I'm not going to go up there. I got 30 more, 31 miles to walk. So I'm going to just let you guys see that as well. Stand here for a little minute. 31 miles. All right, let's go. The Dolphin Stadium. Remember, you guys, the Dolphin Stadium is a um, is a uh, Indian burial ground. I did ayahuasca. I won't believe me, but I did ayahuasca, and I found out where I was buried here in Florida. I was buried multiple times here in Florida. Man, but that's in my last video. You guys can look at the last video and um, check it out. You can leave a comment, share. Thank you for the support. Whoever watching these videos, thank you all. I don't get that many views, but I like doing this. It's one of my favorite hobbies. But remember this Pineland Miramar Park nature trail is connected to Snake Warrior Island as well. So Snake Warrior Island is like 10 minutes away from this park to be exact. But I'm not going I'm not going to document this whole park is very small. So let's keep walking. Let's keep walking. But remember, I'm going to give you a list of um, things to look up for Florida. If you ever want to go to these historical sites, you have um um let's see, you have look up Great Nose Park. That's in North Miami. Um, you have, um, what else? Arch Creek. You have Air Portal Indian Mounds. 
you have a lot of um, places you can look up and discover right here in Florida. I just named it a few as well. But you guys, it's going to be uh, in another video. It's going to be the end. So you guys, this is the end of the video. I'm going to continue to walk the trail. All right, peace.